Right, here we are again. Uh, hopefully you can see this all right. I'll check the video later, if not, we'll sort it out. Right, we've got the lead on the go. Just cleaned it out a little. Basically, to clean it out, you just get your scoop across, slowly pour it, the decent lead pours through. And hopefully, if you can see that, you see the muck on top, and it just drops out, goes on there. You don't want that in your leads. Again, just pour it through, and it'll slowly get clearer and clearer. See, that's pretty good now. You'll probably notice, here we go, last bit, just get this little bit of muck out here. There we go, any muck. It doesn't have to be perfectly clear, but it does help. You get some of the crappy bits out. As you can see, that's pretty damn good now. Again, make sure that whatever you're pouring is on the heat. Get your mould. It is essential to get your mould. This is cold at the moment, I've only just set it up. But it is essential to get your mould and warm it up. Quick blast on there for a little while. Again, but remembering now, that's getting pretty damn hot. Once you've got a couple of leads on the go, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you don't need to keep reheating it. You'll feel it slightly through the gloves. If it feels cold to touch, just warm it up. Because once you put hot lead into the mould, if it's cold, it's set straight away. It messes up the mould. Right, gloves, gloves, gloves. Just keep going about gloves, but make sure you've got the buggers on. Because if you pick one of these buggers up, afterwards I guarantee you will be out fishing for a few weeks. Right, let's get that off. As you can see, there's little grooves there and there. Quite, I find it easier to put this back on in position, like so. So get that in position, and that one like that. First time I've used this mould, uh, so we may mess up, we may not. Get those in position, put the top half on, like so. Get your clamp. I find it's easy to just slide it along. Make sure everything is in position, like that, and then just over like so, ensuring that your little clips have not popped out the bottom. Another tip, warm it up slightly, again just to make sure that it's nice and warm. Just get it up to temperature. If it's not up to temperature, the lead will just not set. It only takes a few minutes, but I reckon once I've done this a few more times, I won't even need to time it, it'll just it'll just come natural. Right. We'll turn it off a minute, we'll just have a quick feel with the glove. Yeah, it's not stupidly hot, but it's not you'll get used to it, seriously. Right, this is this lead. I'm not actually sure on this mould because I find every time I sit that back up, they come out. It's the first time I've used that mould. I may be changing it, I don't know. Right, you get your lead like so, and then you slowly pour into the slot. And you pour and pour and pour and pour and pour and pour until there. If you watch slowly now, any minute now, I don't know if you can see that on camera, that has changed colour. Put your pouring mould back into there. A little cheese knife, perfect. Take the clamp off, in between, two perfect leads. Absolute beautiful. Drop them out. There we go, straight into the water. Set up the next two. Again, remembering gloves. Do not touch that mould, it is now red hot. Put the next couple in. Like I say, it's easy to get these set up in advance so you're not puffing about. Ensure that you're on. Again, gloves on now because the clamp will probably be hot as well. Get the clamp on, slide it on, ensure everything's in position. Anything I'm not liking is the way those, mop, those little pegs fall out, but I might try it this way now. Just be careful not to overflow with your fingers on the lid. I can actually feel it slightly burning my fingers. Pour, 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 pour. Just don't stop, don't stop. If you stop, it will just congeal and set. It's slowly coming through on the fingers. Maybe I'll look at a better way of doing it. 
like I say, it's the first time I've used those lids, only came this morning. The mould, sorry. Again, it's set, you can see it change colour, pop it open. There you have two perfect three ounce lids. Drop them out. Those tag ends, eventually, you cut off. Do not throw away, put it back in your lead, melt it. But yeah, you cut that off, file it down, and then on to the next process, which is the coating. We'll just do a couple more, use this bit of lead and stuff up. And then I'll go on to the coating process. So again, it's a bit awkward with gloves, but always keep one on to hold the mould. There we go. We might just have enough for another two lots of these. Get your mould. Put it on top, like so. Again, keep going on gloves. But I can feel the heat through this already. There we go. Clamp it in place. Ensure it's all settled down properly. I think I'm actually preferring doing it this way. Ensure that they're right the way up, which they are. Rest it on there. Full scoop of lead. And pour. Just constant slow pouring. Until it comes just to the surface, and then hopefully you'll see it change colour any second now. There you go. Clamp off. Pop her open with my cheese knife. Again, two more perfect shaped lids. There we go. We've got enough for one more. Then we'll get onto the coating process. So, again, keep your fingers well away. I can feel the heat big time now. And you, you don't need to keep eating these up because the lead's going in, keeping it nice and warm. Mold back on. Gloves and clamp. Ensuring that they're all okay. There we go, in position. Nice big full scoop of lead. If you don't happen to get the full scoop, don't keep go back and pour, it will have set and it will just spoil your lead. You need to ensure that it all goes in in one go. There we go. There we go. Again, you'll see it's just set then. Clamp off. And away we go. Another couple of perfect leads in the water. Right, we'll just turn this off. Leave that to set for a while. And then I'll go through the next process of cleaning them up and coating it. 